YouTube invited me to speak at the YouTube Enterprise Summit 2020 to over a hundred YouTube staff and MCN executives about freedom. I was a little nervous and forgot to unmute my microphone at the beginning. Here is the full speech that I gave. I hope you'll enjoy it and learn something new about freedom. Roll it! Hello everybody and welcome. I am George, CEO and founder of Freedom. In this presentation, I will talk to you about learnings of what scaled for us and what did not, with actionable items that I hope will help you in your countries and markets to grow, and we'll end with questions and answers. Starting with, who is George? I am the father of four beautiful girls, Avienda, Eve, Kira, and Daenerys. My wife and I were big Games of Thrones fans up till season eight, and we named our fourth and final daughter Daenerys. Full disclosure, she was born before season eight, so by the time season eight came, we couldn't take it back. For Daenerys, there will be no dragon eggs for Christmas and no bonfires in her future. I like to start with this to appeal to all of you fathers out there to remind you, and mothers, that it is babies and business growing together, not just business. So who is George in the freedom business? Well, who is freedom? Freedom is a YouTube MCN. We are profitable. We are in we have nine companies in eight countries that make up the entire Freedom family. We generate 40 million US dollars a year in revenue. That's what YouTube pays us. And I will talk to you about how we leveraged our YouTube MCN to launch successful off YouTube businesses that scale, such as Freedom Games, our game publishing division, MGN, our gaming network, basically Freedom for Gamers, Tips, which is our OVOB strategy that I'll talk about later, where we connect YouTube with blogging in an interesting way. And Aegis, which is our content ID rights management platform, completely separate from the YouTube business with its own dashboard, its own KYC, know your client, and processes to submit original videos and music to protect on YouTube. Let's get started with the learnings. When we were building Freedom, we tried many things to help YouTubers grow. We tried brand deals, product placement campaigns, sponsorships, and merchandise. Each had some level of success, but they did not scale. And our lesson was one-off deals that are not scalable or consistently repeatable are not a good business for us to focus on. What we do focus on are things that do scale. We found community scales where we provide forums, Discord chat servers, places for the community to interact, ask for reviews. We moderate, remove the spam, and create a healthy environment for creators to get help and to share their exciting moments and milestones. We have a no lock and contract. That was scalable because we started Freedom from day one with a no lock in. We called it Freedom because everyone was free to leave at any time for any reason or no reason with 30 days notice. And what we found was when the door is always open, no one walks through it. And when it's closed with like a two, three year lock in contract, people are banging to let, you out, let them out. So of course some people leave, but the point is we had a lot fewer people leave Freedom because of the no lock in contract. We have revenue share deals. We paid over $500,000 to one record label as our way of promoting their artists to help them with discovery, incremental revenue, and just spreading their music across YouTube in a legal way with full permission so there's no issues with demonetization or copyright strikes from that commercial music. We have game publishing that generated $300,000 in its first two months in gross revenue, and I'll talk about that later. And we have Aegis, which, is, which paid over a million dollars to rights holders through our content ID platform at www.aegis.tm. Each of these are scalable and consistently repeatable businesses that we are continuing to grow. So let's focus on Freedom Games. 
how did we leverage our MCN to grow a game publishing business? We published our first game, Dreamscaper, on August 14th, 2020. This year, this is a new business. This is not something we've been doing for many years. And we earned the 300K in our first two months from Steam sales. This is what the Steam platform generated from sales of Dreamscaper. And how we connected this with YouTube is we pay 110% revenue share to everybody in Freedom for every video they create about the games we publish. It sounds like we're losing money on the deal, but we're actually not. This is the key. Steam is YouTube. It is the MCN model in an off YouTube platform. Here's how it works. We work with game developers to help games launch and those game developers are like YouTubers. When a game developer comes to us, we sign a contract and we publish their game on Steam and we help them get many sales. Just like a YouTuber that comes to Freedom asking for help to grow, we sign a contract and we help them get more views on YouTube. Steam pays us a revenue share of all sales of all games we publish. YouTube pays us a revenue share of all channels in our network that are linked to our CMS. It's the exact same business model. So we take a cut of all the revenue from every Steam sale. So if we lose 10% on YouTube that generates sales on Steam, we make that back and then some from those sales. It's a positive feedback loop where everybody wins. YouTubers get more money, 10% more than what YouTube would pay them. Game developers get more sales and revenue on Steam. And of course, Freedom generates a profit in the process to make all of that work. I think this is an excellent example of leveraging the YouTube MCN in a unique and never before done way to launch off YouTube businesses. We'd love to hear from you if you have similar experiences to share, because as I say in every video of The George Show, we all help each other grow together as a family by sharing our best practices with each other, not hiding them, because you never know what you can learn from everybody else. If you share, they share, and everybody wins. And we've signed seven more games in the first three months, so we expect game publishing to be a big business for us in, in the future. Here is a screenshot of the first game we've published, Dreamscaper. Just Google it. There's only one Dreamscaper game in the world. You can see what we started with. Now let's get to the actionable tips. Actionable tip one, the CEO should make public videos. I've been making videos for seven years, over 500 episodes. And why is that important? Because people want to hear it from the top not a staff member you've hired to deliver a message. You're the head of your company. You're a YouTube video network or related to video. Why aren't you making videos the CEO? You should be, and it's helped us with credibility, transparency, trust, and I encourage you to do the same. Actionable tip two, blog. How many of you have a blog for your company? You should, not just videos on YouTube, YouTube has a blog, Freedom has a blog, MGN has a blog, and you can check them out at tip.tm, mgn.tv, and of course, YouTube. Or sorry, blog.youtube. That's a cool name. They actually own .youtube, like a .com. Uh, sadly, we don't have .freedom. Uh, maybe in the future. Actionable tip three, don't just blog, OVOB. OVOB stands for one video, one blog. And it's the way you connect YouTube with blogging. At the top of every blog, have one video and only one video. Include compelling editorial text with screenshots. Don't just copy your YouTube video description and call it a day in your blog. That way you get Google SEO together with YouTube SEO and you get the best of both worlds. We did an experiment. We created a brand new channel last month in October, and we measured in 28 days the views that we got from both the web and from YouTube. We actually got more views on the web than YouTube. It was incredible. I did not expect that. 
You can check it out at www.mgn.tv. That's the blog. And youtube.com slash mgntv. That's the YouTube channel. And the findings that you see here are more are detailed on our blog at www.tip.tm. So that's a lot of websites. But if you just go to tip.tm, you can find this data explained in more detail. Actionable tip four, strong KYC. You should collect information about your clients that include government issued IDs, utility bills, especially when you are doing content ID. That is a very sensitive topic because you are claiming rights, exclusive rights, worldwide rights of content. And if you're not sure of the person who's making these claims that they own it, then you're possibly in trouble if you claim the wrong people's, you claim the wrong content or you were misled with fake contracts or just misinformation that this about the owner of the content. So what we found is once we started asking for this KYC, all of our abuse went basically to zero because the ones who were lying didn't want to share their actual data about themselves and so they went away. And we quickly cleaned out all of the bad actors from our Aegis Content ID platform simply by asking for the KYC. Now we don't do this level for the YouTube network. I don't think it's necessary, but if it's a more sensitive product like Content ID, I think it is. And you should evaluate yourselves where you feel the KYC should be stronger. And there is one more actual tip uh, before we end. And that is something that I found just last in September, which is the value of a consistent exercise schedule. I set a goal for myself that I would go for 30 days to the gym once a day between 30 minutes to an hour. I didn't think I could do it, but I did. And the lesson learned was after day, at day 31, when I was supposed to take a break, I just went again. And on day 32, I went again. Why? It became a habit. I was missing it. It's like when you get hungry, you go eat food. If you've built a habit of going to the gym, you kind of miss it when you don't. And now I'm on day 60. How do I do 60? <laughs> I've more than doubled my original goal and I'm still going every single day. And an hour before this speech, I was at the gym for an hour. So I encourage you to get your exercise. If a 45-year-old CEO of Freedom can do it for 60 days in a row, you can do it for a few days here and there until it becomes a habit. So, hope that helps motivate you. And thank you for listening to my presentation. You can reach me on LinkedIn if you'd like to ask any direct questions. And I'll open the floor to questions now. So there you have it. Here is my smiling face on the official YouTube Enterprise Summit website showing that I was a speaker at the EMEA, the Europe, Middle East and Africa Enterprise Summit 2020. There were people from Google, from YouTube and me. I was super excited and I hope to do many more speeches in the future. And uh, yeah, this was my first one. And let me know down there in the comments below what you thought. Do you have any questions? Feel free to ask. I'll be happy to answer. And yeah, guys, I mean, Freedom's been here for seven years. Seven wonderful but long years. YouTube has changed so much in the seven years that we've seen uh, that since we've started. And there's always the, a first. This was my first speech at a YouTube summit. And uh, there's always new rules to adjust to. But guys, that's part of maturing. YouTube is a platform that's growing. It's the biggest video library in the world. Of course, it's going to change and improve based on advertiser feedback, your feedback, MCN feedback. So I welcome the changes and I hope all of you do too. Let's keep helping each other grow together as a family. And that's how we all win not by working independently, but by working as a team. Teamwork makes the dream work. Have you ever heard of that? It's one of my favorite sayings and I truly believe it. So you know who I am now. I am 
Papa George, George Sunpai, and many other names you, the beautiful Freedom family, has given me. I am the CEO and founder of Freedom! Oh, what happened there? <laughs> uh, for Freedom and the Freedom family, where we all help each other grow together as a family. Until the next episode, we have new things coming. We just started a wiki, a video wiki, and it's a Minecraft wiki. You can go to minecraft.wiki.gg and we'll be creating more wikis in the future. The link is down there in the description below if you want to check it out. And World of Warcraft Shadowlands is launching in one day, <laughs> well, not two days. That's the biggest expansion of World of Warcraft with more pre-sales than any other expansion in the game's history. So this is going to be a big one, guys. This is going to be World of Warcraft Cataclysm all over again. And Cataclysm launched 10 years ago, and now Shadowlands is here. We hope it'll be just as important for the franchise because we're going to support it. We're looking for people to work with, to promote, and cross-promote for Shadowlands content. And I'll talk about that in future episodes of The George Show. But in the meantime, go to wow.mgn.tv if you want to check out the beginnings of our OVOB for World of Warcraft Shadowlands. Until the next episode, Freedom Family, click the like button if you like this one and subscribe to Freedom Central. Whoa, did that a little bit too early. And gong that notification bell so you don't miss an episode. Until next time, I'm George and you've been watching. Ooh, you're dreaming about love. Yeah. Click that eye to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.